Under the scorching sun of Medellin, the security camera captures a meticulously planned assault on a gold foundry. Esperando el momento exacto en el que la reja se abre. Antes de que se cierre la puerta, uno de los hombres le apunta con un arma al guarda de seguridad y lo reduce. Three figures in white hide among parked cars, waiting for the opportune moment. One aims a gun at the guard, initiating the orchestrated robbery. And amidst the mayhem, a fake traffic officer facilitates the arrival of reinforcements. Masked assailants, numbering at least 19, seize an opportunity as the gate opens, overpowering the lone guard with chilling precision. Quitan el dispositivo móvil. 40 segundos después aparece este segundo vehículo tipo van, y de allí descienden otros siete delincuentes que se suman al atraco. With guns drawn and rolls assigned, they swiftly make off with nearly 13 kilograms of gold, worth close to 500 million pesos. Emprenden la huida, abandonando la volqueta y disparando contra los uniformados. Luego, 16 motocicletas pasan frente al lugar. Algunas recogen a los delincuentes. By 11.43 a.m., police motorcycles responded to citizen calls, prompting the assailants to flee while firing at the officers, leaving behind an abandoned dump truck that they had initially intended to use for transporting the bulk of the gold. On the 17th of October 2019, a tense standoff unfolded in Culiacán as security forces converged on Ovidio Guzmán López, a key figure in the notorious Sinaloa cartel and the son of the infamous Joaquín El Chapo Guzmán. Guzmán can be seen surrendering to authorities who instruct him to contact a cartel associate and request that cartel fighters cease their activities. ¿Cuánto tienes gente adentro? No, no tengo. Esto. Dos mis hijas, dos hijas. Pare, diles que paren todos. Ya. Ya. No veo más. However, despite Guzmán's capture, Mexican authorities ultimately released him after the Sinaloa cartel seized control of significant parts of the city. This takeover involved the hostage taking of several soldiers in one area and the surrounding of a housing complex for military personnel families in another part of town. Highways, as usual, remain treacherous paths to travel. This incident took place on Highway 80, stretching from San Juan de los Lagos to Jalostotitlán in Chalisco. En sentido contrario, en un momento una camioneta roja le cierra el paso al conductor de esa camioneta blanca que se sale por el acotamiento. The footage captured by a trailer's security camera reveals a disturbing scene. Multiple vehicles driving in the wrong direction. Suddenly, a red pickup obstructs a white van's path prompting the van's driver to carry out an emergency escape plan. What plan? Paso, él se percata de que pues hay algo extraño, adelante, empieza a echarse en reversa y segundos después los sujetos que portan un arma larga y un arma corta. Sensing danger ahead, the driver swiftly reverses, only for armed individuals to emerge moments later, brandishing both long and short firearms at the van's occupants. Doctor, a la conductora, su acompañante, mientras la otra, la camioneta gris, Encierra el vehículo de las víctimas por la por la parte de atrás. Los criminales huyen en caravana. A man and a woman are forcibly removed from the vehicle, while another grey van blocks their escape route from behind. The criminals, seizing their spoils, flee in a coordinated convoy comprising all three vehicles. In a daring heist, a criminal gang orchestrated a brazen robbery by attaching a rope from their vehicle to a store they intended to target. With precision and speed, they secured the rope to the barrier at the entrance of the store. Then, the vehicle lurched forward, breaking through the barrier with a resounding crash. Without wasting a moment, the gang swiftly sprang into action, moving with practiced efficiency to carry out their operation. In a matter of minutes, they managed to loot the store, seizing more than 50 weapons. Little did they know, their entire operation was captured on CCTV, providing authorities with crucial evidence to pursue the perpetrators and bring them to justice. Footage from a security camera reveals a silver Bora-type vehicle with what appears to be a miner hanging from an open door. A woman can be heard shouting at the driver to halt, 
causing her to tumble to the ground while carrying a backpack. However, it appears that the car driver did it intentionally, so he refused to stop. Captadas por una cámara de seguridad, se observa como un auto tipo Bora de color plata avanza, aparentemente con un menor colgado a una puerta abierta, mientras una mujer... According to reports from residents, these incidents took place on the afternoon of Saturday, October 7th, 2023, in Lomas Cadete, in the elevated region of Naucalpan. In the quiet haven of Ciudad Jardín, a family fell victim to a brazen daylight robbery. Una familia en Ciudad Jardín y ahora se empiezan a conocer más detalles a partir de este video que ustedes están viendo en pantalla. Lo escuchamos. Masked intruders breached the property, leaving chaos in their wake. Despite resistance, homeowner Alejandro suffered injuries. The criminals swiftly plundered cash, valuables and electronics before vanishing. Even with private security, the incident underscores vulnerability in supposedly safe neighborhoods. <laughs> Suspected police officers from the municipality of Concepcion de Buenos Aires, Jalisco, were subdued by an armed group that released a video interrogating them about alleged collusion with certain regional authorities with the Jalisco New Generation Cartel. Ellos los mandan a hacer, a puntear a los cruceros y a todo eso, ¿verdad? Sí, nomás cuando pues, entra el gobierno o así. Cuando entran los verdes. The circulated clip shows four police officers kneeling, two men and two women, in front of a municipal patrol car. One officer, with hands behind his head, identifies himself as José Eduardo. Los sollozos de una de sus compañeras. De pronto, el sujeto que los interroga los interrumpe para ordenar que dé los nombres de los directores que apoyan a las cuatro letras. En the officer revealed Mari Martínez, the son of Mora from Concepción de Buenos Aires, and La Manzanilla from La Paz, as supporters of the Jalisco New Generation Cartel. A disturbing video from Michoacán surfaced online, depicting a masked man atop a truck using an electric device to torment a woman, her screams of pain echoing repeatedly. The victim's apparent daughter pleaded with her mother to remain calm, hoping for a swift departure. En redes sociales, se hizo viral un video tomado en Michoacán. The assault stemmed from the woman's confrontation with the local leader of the United Cartels in Los Reyes, alleged henchman of Luis Enrique Barragan Chavez, alias LR5, or Guicho from Los Reyes, perpetrated the attack. Quien en repetidas ocasiones gritó que le dolía dicha acción, mientras que la aparente hija de la víctima le suplicaba a su madre que guardara la calma para poder irse pronto. Even during quarantine, crime knows no rest. In Santos Lugares, surveillance cameras captured a group of four armed criminals executing a commando style robbery at a supermarket. The footage shows them entering heavily armed and fleeing amid gunfire. Their brazenness is evident as they forcefully seize the cash register and even snatch several kilos of meat and bottles of alcohol. Initially thought to be wielding machine guns, it was revealed that they were equipped with makeshift gun attachments for pistols. In Isidro Casanova, a motorcycle suddenly stopped, catching attention. Criminals targeted the rider, while a woman maneuvered strategically. One of the criminals fled, leaving another. Surprisingly, the man about to draw a weapon was a federal police officer with his girlfriend, also a policewoman. They cleverly confronted their pursuers, revealing the officer's air gun. Los delincuentes lo apuntan, ah. es un hombre y una mujer que hace unos movimientos estratégicos. He switched to his pistol, handling the situation calmly. In the ongoing battle against drug smuggling, a peculiar method has emerged along the Arizona-Mexico border. Drug traffickers, determined to transport marijuana into the United States, have resorted to an unconventional delivery system, a catapult.
Employing sophisticated video surveillance, the National Guard detected suspicious activity and witnessed individuals launching packages over the towering border fence. A homemade submarine made its way through the deep waters of the Pacific Ocean. It barely stuck out of the water. Inside, three brave Colombian drug smugglers were transporting over three metric tons of cocaine bricks. Three Colombian nationals were on board. Navy officials focused on safeguarding and protecting the crew members' lives as the water entered the submarine. But their clandestine voyage didn't escape the watchful eye of the Colombian Navy. Within moments, a military vessel gave chase its powerful engines thrumming as it closed in on the narco sub. Despite its commitment to stop drug trafficking, Colombia reportedly still produces much of the world's cocaine supply. But seizures like this don't deter law enforcement in its mission. Surrounded, the traffickers had no choice but to surrender, begrudgingly emerging from the hatch with hands raised high. The Colombian Navy says... On the deck, the bedraggled traffickers could only watch helplessly as their meticulously packaged $100 million payload was hauled into the harsh sunlight. In a dramatic turn of events, a truck driver showcased remarkable courage and determination as he sped down the highway with a thief clinging desperately to the door. This individual refused to yield. With unwavering resolve, he accelerated, pushing the vehicle to its limits, leaving the would-be thief hanging on for dear life. Undeterred by the perilous situation, the driver's swift and decisive action demonstrated a refusal to succumb to criminality, ensuring his own safety and that of his cargo. In a surprising turn of events, a bullion van carrying valuables made an unexpected stop. Little did the driver know, several cars had been following closely behind. As the van halted, so did the cars. Within moments, three individuals swiftly emerged and initiated a daring robbery of the bullion van, seizing as much loot as possible. Amidst the chaos, a woman inadvertently opened the gate only to hastily shut it upon realizing the unfolding situation. With their hall secured, the thieves swiftly departed the scene, leaving behind a scene of audacious criminality and intrigue. These are the desperate voices of a Mexican family that had just crossed the border between Laredo, Texas and Nuevo Laredo, Tamaulipas. An apparent group of criminals demanded that they stop, but the head of the family did not obey and accelerated instead. It was then that the gray car began to chase them and block their path. This occurred on Colosio Boulevard, where they were almost victims of extortion. In the recording, a woman's voice can be heard trying to calm her daughters, who repeatedly asked what was happening. Fortunately, the civilians managed to evade the alleged criminals. Two masked individuals, clad in hoods, arrived at a store on a motorcycle, their intentions ominous. Without hesitation, they stormed into the establishment, brandishing firearms and instilling fear in the hearts of all present. With calculated precision, they swiftly executed their plan, robbing the store of its monetary assets and valuable merchandise. Terrified shoppers, frozen in fear, were compelled to comply with the demands of the menacing duo until their nefarious operation concluded. A chilling incident unfolded on a public transportation van in the state of Mexico, captured by an onboard security camera. A suspected extortionist, wearing a black cap, hoodie, and denim pants, boarded the van as a regular passenger in the municipality of Tecamac. Hello. 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 
However, his intentions were far from innocent. Immediately upon boarding, he demanded the driver pay the established protection fee, showcasing the brazen extortion tactics plaguing the region. The driver claimed ignorance of the amount owed only further angered the criminal, who swiftly confiscated the day's hard-earned earnings from the unsuspecting driver. Adding insult to injury, the extortionist issued threats, leaving the driver vulnerable and rightfully shaken by the encounter. As this car driver navigated the streets, unaware of the looming danger, a pair of armed robbers trailed closely behind, biding their time for the opportune moment. Seizing what they perceived as an opening, the criminals moved in when the car slowed down, perhaps intending to open the door. Sensing the imminent threat, the vigilant driver swiftly accelerated, catching the thieves off guard. With adrenaline pumping, one of the robbers leaped from their vehicle, but the driver's quick reaction thwarted their plans. Startled by the sudden maneuver, the thief scrambled back into their car and the criminals hastily fled in a different direction, thwarted by the driver's sharp instincts and decisive action. In a seemingly routine traffic stop, Two men stopped a truck and demanded the driver's cooperation. Initially appearing as a regular inspection, the situation quickly escalated into a robbery. The driver, complying with their demands, surrendered all his valuables and allowed them to search his wallet and other compartments of the truck. Despite the fear and uncertainty, he remained calm and cooperative. After a thorough search, the robbers surprisingly let the driver go unharmed. On Highway 145D in Veracruz, Mexico, a shocking incident occurred where armed robbers targeted a trailer truck. Security camera footage captured the moment a pickup truck overtook the trailer and forced it to stop. Two armed individuals exited the pickup and were joined by a third criminal with a covered face. They approached the trailer's cabin, seemingly looking for valuables, while their accomplices took the driver away. This brazen highway robbery occurred in less than a minute in the municipality of Contraste. En menos de un minuto, los delincuentes cometieron el crimen ocurrido a la altura del municipio de Cotazla, Veracruz. Hasta el momento, las autoridades no han dado... The Mexican transportation industry has raised concerns over the recurring security threats faced by truckers in this region. See how these thieves operate even in broad daylight. Following an operation, the Tan Pantala police detained an alleged member of a car theft gang in the state of Mexico. Así es como esta banda de criminales despojó a una familia de su carro. The criminals robbed a family of their car, with two individuals threatening the civilians to exit the vehicle. Suddenly, someone scared off the delinquents, but moments later, they handed over the keys to avoid harm to their loved ones. The criminals completed the robbery while the victims fled in terror. This incident is linked to a van theft in the Prado Ixtacala neighborhood, prompting law enforcement to recover the vehicle and arrest the criminals. With complete tranquility and impunity, an armed group blocked both lanes of the Leon Aguascalientes Highway to steal three luxury trucks being transported by a trailer. Toda la tranquilidad del mundo y con total impunidad, un grupo de delincuentes armados cerró ambos sentidos de la carretera León Aguascalientes para robar tres camiones de lujo. The Chalisco State Public Security Secretariat 
reported the incident on Wednesday, June 7, 2023. At kilometer 33, plus 400, in the municipality of Union de San Antonio. Testigo del robo. La Secretaría de Seguridad Ciudadana del Estado de Jalisco informó que el incidente se registró el día de ayer, miércoles 7 de junio, a la altura del kilómetro 33. Senator Emilio Álvarez Icaza tweeted that an armed group intercepted the trailer and seized all units, blocking the highway for over 30 minutes without intervention from the National Guard or other police forces. In Santa Fe, Argentina, a video surfaced on social media showing a man exhibiting powerful weapons and wearing a Union de Santa Fe soccer jersey, suggesting a potential threat between drug traffickers. The authorities are investigating the incident and the individual's identity. Despite some dismissing it as a joke, the prosecutor is considering charges for coercion and illegal possession of weapons and ammunition, which carry substantial prison sentences. The video raises concerns about the prevalence of unregistered weapons, estimated at around 2 million in Argentina, and the involvement of criminal organizations in drug trafficking, particularly in areas like Santa Fe and Rosario. A man, hooded and masked, stood casually by a parked car in front of a grocery store, seemingly awaiting someone. What happened next was unexpected. Suddenly, he brandished a gun and swiftly entered the store. Initially alone, his actions escalated as his partner, disguised as a shopper, joined him, revealing a meticulously planned operation. Amidst the chaos, three observant individuals, including a minor, almost entered but retreated upon sensing danger. The duo proceeded to rob the store, seizing cash and valuables. A presumed member of the Gulf Cartel in Tamaulipas was recorded carrying one of the most exclusive and powerful weapons, a Diablin, which in theory is only sold to the army and has been used during the invasion of Ukraine, for example. On the black market, that weapon he carries on his right, the other one is an AK-47. Ha sido utilizado durante la invasión a Ucrania, por ejemplo. En el mercado negro, esa arma que lleva a su derecha, la otra es una AK-47. On the right, he carries this weapon that costs between 20,000 US dollars and 60,000 US dollars on the black market, and each shot costs approximately 30,000 US dollars. Un triángulo con las palabras respeto, lealtad, disciplina y las siglas CDG al centro junto con el número 19. The man appearing in the video is also wearing a bulletproof vest with embroidered images of a scorpion, an eagle, a phoenix, and a triangle with the words respect, loyalty, discipline, and the initials CDG in the center, along with the number 19. Around it, there is a circle that says courage, strength, and immortality. In Recoleta, thieves strike with audacity, swiftly dismounting motorcycles to snatch valuables. Despite pervasive surveillance, their impunity reigns. They select targets carefully, likely tracking from banks. Their escape against traffic and the exploitation of bike lanes are calculated for success. El barrio de Recoleta, una de las calles más transitadas por vehículos, y de repente un delincuente que vía iba en moto se baja del rodado. The thefts aren't isolated, plaguing not just Recoleta but the nation. While foot perpetrators seize loot openly, those on motorcycles shield identities. Their boldness, contrasted with meticulous execution, challenges law enforcement. How swiftly can authorities reconstruct escape routes? Hope lies in swift apprehension as law enforcement mobilizes against this rampant threat. Imagine stumbling upon a video on social media showing a group armed to the teeth, standing next to a patrol vehicle marked with the state's public security forces initials. Three civilians ride in a Ram pickup truck, accompanied by what appears to be a police patrol vehicle. The words state police boldly emblazoned on its side, along with the official coat of arms, leave no room for doubt. Three other figures clad in tactical gear strut confidently in front of the vehicle. 
Aquí la gente no es así, puto. No es como en otros putos lados a la verga. Ese puto cartel. The speaker, holding an FX-05 rifle, distances himself from the recent tragedy of two municipal traffic agents brutally murdered in Celaya, attributing it to the Yalisco New Generation cartel. With a chilling finality, the group unleashes a barrage of gunfire into the sky, a deafening punctuation mark to their ominous message. In a swift and daring move, three heavily armed individuals emerged from a van and conducted a robbery on an armored truck in Colorado. Trespillos armados hasta los dientes se bajaron de una camioneta y asaltaron un camión blindado en Colorado. Dos de los delincuentes brincaron dentro del vehículo para cargar. With precision, two of the assailants swiftly entered the vehicle, seizing bags brimming with cash, while the third menacingly aimed a firearm at the driver, who had just completed a bank collection. The entire heist transpired in less than a minute allowing the perpetrators to abscond with the entirety of the stolen goods. When it comes to El Chapo, brace yourself for a jaw-dropping revelation. A video making rounds online purportedly captures Joaquin Guzman Loera in a ranch setting, grilling a bound individual. <laughs> But here's the twist. It's not your typical interrogation scene. No, this Colombian figure isn't tied to some flimsy palm-thatched pillar. It's a solid load-bearing column, adding an eerie layer to the scenario. And guess what? This Colombian isn't just any bystander. They're calling the shots. It's a riveting glimpse into the clandestine world of El Chapo and his cohorts. <laughs> Members of the Jalisco cartel, under the notorious leadership of El Mencho, brazenly paraded their strength and weaponry, showcasing armored vehicles, military gear, and a formidable arsenal. With chants of El Mencho echoing jubilantly through the air, they proudly brandished their guns, flaunting their allegiance to their leader. This audacious display of power and loyalty serves as a chilling reminder of the influence and intimidation tactics employed by organized crime groups like the Jalisco cartel. <laughs> 